click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, I welcome you all to this video. We are with the chapter 12 of the microwave engineering where we have the various microwave components, the microwave passive devices. So right from the microwave hybrid circuitries to the microwave junctions like the microwave T's, we have E plane T, H plane T, magic T, the another devices like the directional coupler, we have a family of microwave components that are working on to the Faraday's principle of rotation. When the magnetic type, non-magnetic type of the materials have been used for the rotation of the orientation of the E vector. So based on to that, we have the devices like the gyrator, the phase shifter, we have the isolator, the circulator here. So in the previous video, we have gone through the understanding of what exactly the microwave circulators are. So let us have problem solved onto it. So a problem statement is provided to us, determine capital S into the matrix form that it is the scattering matrix of a three port circulator given the insertion loss of 0.5 times decibels, isolation of 20 decibels and the VSWR of 2 here. So as per the problem statement which is very short and simple, we have been provided the values of insertion loss, isolation value and the standing wave ratio VSWR here. We have to determine the scattering matrix here. So let us solve it. So as we come to see there it is a circulator and it has only three ports. We can draw a diagram as like we have, let us say this is the first port here, whereas the another two ports can be shown at these two places here. So let us say this is port number one, this is port number two, this is port number three. So in general by the Faraday's rotation principle, we have the circulation inside this three port device in this fashion. So as we have the three port device, the corresponding scattering matrix that we need to determine for this problem statement is of the order of three by three. So we can be having three rows and three columns to it. So let us have first of all, the unknown values represented for the scattering matrix S11, S12, S13 for the first row, whereas we have S21, S22, S23 for the second row, and we have S31, S32, and S33 for the third row here. So this is of the order of 3 by 3 here. So in this problem statement, the value of each scattering coefficient, scattering parameter S11 up to S33, we have to determine. So very first of all, we shall be making the use of insertion loss. So we have insertion loss provided in the problem statement. The insertion loss is of 0.5 decibels here. So now, making the use of formulation of the insertion loss. This is nothing but minus 20 log to the base 10 of we have the scattering parameter named S21 here. So now from this relationship, we can isolate S21 onto the left hand side here. So the magnitude of S21 will be obtained by taking 10 having the power minus of 0.5 divided by 20. So this becomes to the form 10 to the power minus 0.025 here. So this will be the value of scattering coefficient S21 here. So let us first of all outline the first value that we have determined out of the nine unknown values here. So as we have the value of S21 in the similar fashion, we can have the competition of S21 to be equal to the value of S32 with the equal 
value of s13 also that it is 10 raised to the power minus 0.025 here so this was all made possible with the help of the value of insertion loss provided in the problem statement now when we make the use of isolation in the problem statement the isolation value is given to be of 20 decibels here so the isolation we know given by the formulation as minus 20 log to the base 10 or the scattering parameter s12 so therefore from the above two equations we can get these two equated here and we find s12 magnitude is equal to 10 to the power we take minus 20 divided by 20 so this gives us 10 to the power minus 1 simply so this is nothing but 0 0.1 here so for s12 scattering parameter the value is 0 0.1 here so in this similar fashion we can make the use of isolation to proceed forward to have the computation of the scattering parameters s23 which is equal to s31 so this is equal to 0 0.1 the same value here we have so this way we have derived the value of three scattering parameters s21 second row first column s32 third row second column s13 first row third column and these two here s23 second row third column s31 third row first column along with this one s12 first row second column with the values here so two types of values we have obtained for the total six parameters here so scattering matrix is of the order 3 by 3 so total nine parameters are to be evaluated and now we have the six answers next to these six values we move further to make the use of vswr value given as per the problem statement now if we denote the reflection coefficient by rho and the swr value by simply s we have the relation between the two given by the formula rho is equal to s minus 1 divided by s plus 1 here so as per the problem statement s value this swr value is equal to 2 so it becomes 2 minus 1 the numerator divided by we have 2 plus 1 the denominator so this results into the value 1 divided by 3 which is nothing but 0 0.3 333 the recurring here so the reflection coefficient is nothing but the scattering parameters or s11 is equal to s22 is equal to s33 here so here we have the relationship with respect to the input at port number one and output at port number one only so this is given by the information of reflection in terms of 0 0.333 here same it is the case when we provide input to the port number two and obtain the output at port number two only this is the reflection here also we have the input to port number three and output also achieved at port number three only a measure of reflection there so this way we have the value 0 0.333 in place of these three parameters here so the six previous values and these three the next one completes the scattering matrix here so the scattering matrix of the order three by three is expressed with the substituted values we have the first row substituted by 0 0.33 in the place of s11 s12 we have obtained 0 0.1 s13 we have obtained 10 raised to the power minus 0 0.025 in the second row we have s21 value to be equal to 10 raised to power minus 0 0.025 s22 value as like this is 0 0.33 up to the two digits we can show the next value is s23 s23 is obtained as 0 0.1 
and now we have the last row the third row is having the s31 so the third row first element it is 0 0.1 s32 the third row second element is 10 raised to power minus 0 0.025 and third row third element is s1 s33 it is equal to 0 0.33 so here we complete the scattering matrix the order is 3 by 3 here next if we consider the condition for the perfect matching along with the non reciprocal so that time we come to have the scattering matrix s given as we have the first row 0 0 s13 the second row here we have s21 0 0 the third row is 0 s32 0 in general here now here we have the terminal planes also chosen to make the phase angles of s13 s21 and s32 to be equal to 0 so finally we can have the representation for these conditions to be the scattering matrix with 0 0 1 1 0 0 and then 0 1 0 so this is for the perfect type of the matching and non reciprocal lossless condition there but to see the properties of the scattering matrix the relationship with the different scattering matrix element in that particular matrix we have obtained the corresponding values in the three rows and three columns like this so this was our problem statement corresponding to the microwave circulator so by the next lecture we shall continue to address one more topic in the chapter microwave components the topic will be microwave isolators so i hope you enjoy learning the subject microwave engineering for more such information you can subscribe to ekeda channel thank you